Hey guys! So today is Mummy Monday and my four week postpartum update. I'm so impressed with myself because I'm actually recording this on a Monday. Um, <laughs> I've had a really productive day so far and I think it's because I was up at 7 instead of lounging around until about 9 and I had a cup of coffee and now I am on cup of coffee number 2 and it is 1.30. Um, <laughs> so I've done like three loads of laundry, I have done work for the day, um, and Asher and I have snuggled for a bit, and I talked to my friend in Paris for two year, or for two hours, so, so it's been pretty productive. Um, but anyway, so I will update on Asher first, and then I will update on myself. Asher is sitting in a little vibrating chair over there sleeping, so I will uh, show you him at the end of the video because I don't want him fussing the whole time. Um, and you know, you let a sleeping baby lie. So anyway, um, Asher's doing fabulously. He is uh, now almost eight and a half pounds. I put him on the scale last night, which is crazy fast because my, so for a breastfed baby on average, they gain seven to eight ounces a week. Asher is doubling that. Um, so he's well on his way to double his birth weight in the next couple weeks, <laughs> which is crazy, crazy quick. Um, with my daughter as an, as an example, she was six pounds, 10 ounces when she was born and in the 25th percentile. Um, and at two months, she was eight and a half pounds and was growing perfectly for her like gender or not her gender, her sex and her percentile. Asher was five pounds, 12 ounces at birth and um, was in the 15th percentile and he is now eight and a half pounds. I don't even know what percentile that is and I'm gonna have to look it up, but that's like crazy quick. So, um, he's making really cute noises too. So, um, for him, yeah, he's doing really, really well. He's eating really, really well, obviously. He's eating about every two hours. Um, I've started to change things up a bit because in the beginning, it was any time he would squeal or squeak or look at me funny or, you know, make a poop face, like, I would give him the breast. And now I'm starting to change that. I'm going to wait until he asks for it, like until he's crying kind of thing, or at least cueing for it. Um, because I've noticed that I have a really fussy baby in the evenings um, in regards to supply. So I have a ridiculous supply right now, and it's particularly large on the left-hand side. And so he doesn't like it because, um, of course, when the milk lets down, it sprays him in the back of the throat. So uh, at nighttime, he likes to just nurse for comfort. Um, and so starting about 7 o'clock, he just wants to like eat, and then he wants to stay there and not move and just nurse for about 45 minutes on and off. Um, so... Last night, like, he ate on the first side, and then he was acting hungry still, so I put him on the second side, which I've been doing, and he screamed and screamed and screamed, and then I just sort of on a whim was like, maybe I'll put you back on the first side that's kind of empty and um, is the one with the slower letdown, and of course, he was so happy, and he went right to bed, so I was like, okay, this is totally what the problem is. Um, so I'm going to start working on lowering the supply on the one side. Um, just cause like, it's no fun to be sprayed in the face with milk. Um, and plus both of us kind of smell like cottage cheese if we're not careful cause we both get covered in milk and it goes sour. Um, or it has that sort of musty milky smell. It's kind of gross. Um, other than that, he's like, he's out of preemie clothes. He's almost out of newborn clothes. Like the newborn clothes fit him really well which means that probably in the next week they're not going to fit him any get, like anymore. Um, so that's sort of sad because like I love his little newborn clothes and you know packing up the preemie clothes was sort of heart-wrenching because I had my little bitty baby and now he's like little fat baby. Um, and of course everyone's still like oh he's so tiny and I'm like you have no idea like he is so much bigger than he was. Um, so yeah he's like almost into zero and three month clothes. As far as myself, I am still pre-pregnancy weight, so I haven't lost anything this week. Probably because I've been really hungry and I've been eating a lot. And it hasn't been particularly good stuff, um, just because I want food now and I don't want to wait to like cook it. Um, 
and that's gotta stop <laughs> so uh, my husband is doing the cooking now because I have taken over all the laundry um, just because I hate cooking and I can't do it with him like I could if I put him in a sling but he doesn't really like the sling so I just don't cook now and Robbie handles it so last night he made cannelloni um, with salad and it was really good so we're just gonna let him keep doing that um, what else yeah I'm back in pre-pregnancy clothes I'm wearing them now um, th the problem is I don't own a lot of pre-pregnancy clothes so I wear maternity from time to time I find though that maternity makes you look pregnant like even if you don't have a belly anymore um, and you just have like like the loose kind of jelly belly that you have after pregnancy um, which is just like loose skin and stuff um, and like maternity pants will force that into a, a bump so so I still look kind of pregnant if I'm wearing maternity pants I do have one pair of pre-pregnancy maternity jeans or not maternity jeans pre-pregnancy jeans that I kept um, because I flip my wardrobe every four months or so and stuff that doesn't get worn goes to the Salvation Army so um yeah I flipped it about four months ago and I have no pre-pregnancy stuff except for like three or four shirts and a pair of yoga pants, two pairs of yoga pants, a pair of dress pants, and uh, one pair of jeans. So the jeans I kept though, I kept bigger jeans that actually didn't fit me pre-pregnancy because I figured that I would be like not pre-pregnancy size and that it would take a while to get there. So of course I don't like wearing these jeans because they don't fit real well and I have to wear a belt with them and they're just not, they're not nice. So um, Friday I think I'm going to go shopping and buy some jeans in my own size, the size I am right now which is about a 9. Um, I'm wearing a size 9, uh, size 8, 9 uh, yoga pant right now, it's like a medium um, and it's a little bit tight, like it doesn't feel tight, it's just that because there's that like um, kind of jelly belly stuff going on it's sort of like bulgy <laughs> around it which is sad um, so yeah I need to go buy some pants and shirts that are not maternity and that look nice and um, that make me not look pregnant so I will do that probably on Friday um, what else oh I am a little worried that we might be dealing with a touch of thrush um, I only worry this because I only worry about this because I've had kind of like because I have such a strong letdown and because I'm leaking so much um, I have been using breast pads of course and they're just not keeping my nipples dry <laughs> lovely to talk about on a public setting um, but so that's a perfect environment for thrush right like it's damp and it's warm and it's got sugar in the milk so um yeah I'm a little concerned about that I've noticed that like my nipples are a little bit pinker than they should be or that I think they should be so I have an appointment with the midwife in two weeks um for his six week checkup and my six week checkup maybe it's three weeks we're doing it after six weeks all oh, right so it's seven weeks that we're doing the checkup um and so if if it gets worse before then I'll call and go in and see her however if it just sort of like doesn't get any worse I'll just get her to take a look in uh, three weeks so I'm doing some preventative measures in the meantime I'm putting coconut oil on uh, the little girls <laughs> in between breastfeeding um, because of course coconut oil is an antifungal um, an antimicrobial so I've been using that and yeah I'm just sort of changing the breast pads a lot and trying to keep things dry so um, I had thrush with my daughter and it was no fun it was very itchy and kind of cracky and painful um, but that's about it so I will show you um, the not belly the leftover belly I don't know the postpartum tummy something like that and then I will show you Asher because he's gotten so big um, and I will show you his cloth diaper too because it's so funny it's like huge on his butt it looks like he has elephantitis of the butt um, 
and it's like super cute and it will look not so big on him when uh, he gets a little bigger but for now it's like big 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 butt and it's so cute so tell me so this is the four a week tummy or lack of and you can see like I said it's still a little bulgy which is not something I'm used to oh you'll notice that I'm wearing two shirts I have like a tank top and a shirt the tank top is that when I'm nursing in public I can actually just lift this and then pull down the tank top and then latch him so that my belly isn't showing um and then yeah so that's the tummy and you can see that it's still I'll turn that down you can see that it's still kind of hanging, which I don't particularly like. But once I get the go ahead to go back to exercise, because that's, and this is really gross. I don't like that, how you can see it under there, but anyway. Um, once I get the go ahead to go back and exercise again, I'm going back to swimming um, because yeah, I like swimming. <laughs> and so um, I'll go back to swimming and then hopefully this will all just sort of disappear really quick. Um, but that's it. Oh, Asher, right. Hi, baby. Come and see Mama. Okay. Ooh. Oh. I'm sorry, did I pick you up from your nap? I did. Okay, so here's Ash. And he is so cute right now. See? Oh, he's passed out. Aren't ya? He's passed out. And you can see he's gotten so big. Like, he's got this double chin and what are you doing and he's getting really good about holding his head up although not right now because he's asleep Paul, look up. this is his cloth diaper oh, sh oh and a burp too this is his cloth diaper and it's um oh daddy put him in this one so it doesn't fit him real well right now um but it's like it's so big on him like i said it's like a bowling ball on his butt can I turn you? I know. I know, I'm sorry. Here. So see, it's like so big on him. <laughs> and he has these tiny little chicken legs that stick out and it's so cute. Anyway, so <laughs> so that's it. And um, someone's gonna wake up now hopefully and have some lunch. Um, and we will talk to you guys next week. Although I am going to be doing a video this week about the stuff I found most helpful this past four weeks um like healing postpartum and stuff and yeah so tune in for that i should be doing it around wednesday or thursday and otherwise we'll see you on mommy monday next week okay bye